Hello Ms. Shamila, my name is Muhammad Taufik. So today I'm going to explain uh, my presentation regarding on the individual assignments for social media marketing, uh, which is on the module content marketing with certification. So I will start with uh, explaining on my answers on the four question given. What did I learn from this module? So basically, there were many things that can be talked about in terms of what I have gained from this assessment. Uh, there are so many things that I want to talk about. But uh, first and foremost, I felt uh, quite great and happy uh, to gain knowledge on so many things from this module. So to make things short, I will explain the three things that I felt were important to me that I have gained from reading the ebooks and also answering the assessment. First, I get to know the flow of creating a content which before this, um, in my thoughts, I felt that a person who chair the position of a social media content marketer or we can, we can call it as an influencer also um, I felt that it was so easy for them where uh, they just create a content and then just post it on the social media accounts but um, after I have gone through this module it turns out I realized that there were many things that uh, need to be considered that uh, before you are making the content and also before you uh, publishing the content so it making me salute uh, to those who work in this uh, kind of field second i get to know what the types of content are um basically there were many actually that i'm quite surprised because there were many kinds of content that i knew but i didn't know their names such as like graphics um infographics um and these two uh these two visual content is quite similar but it is not uh because like infographics are more focusing on the statistic or a uh, data for example like uh we give like uh the rate of uh covid uh, cases keeps increasing so um this infographic play a role which is uh they will uh, distribute the precise information to the audience from the statistic or any data report and they will make it into a sub summarize with having a uh, relatively like um, images uh, adding graphics and then add on the colors to attract the audience uh, to give them the awareness and also to attract them to read the uh, infographics third in terms of the subtopic of basic things of uh, CMS or we call it as content management system so in the topic of making SEO friendly URLs um, I realized that it is important okay uh, for us to avoid using the word like uh, and uh, or but uh, and so on which I usually did before so after I did my own research on this reason it shows that the uh, stated words are said to be considered or kind as a one of negative word I must say as it is considered as a stock words which make our sentence hanging and no confidence in writing a content um basically i don't say we cannot use it but it is less likely we need to avoid it what are my challenges while learning this module so when it comes to the challenges i must say the challenges will be on the completing the module ebook which consists of 160 pages um, there were many kinds of info that i felt that uh, i need to remember for my own good uh, also for my future and they were also words and phrases that I never heard before and lead me to do some research before continue reading and also understand the topic 
so basically i think that's the challenges or i can say obstacles that i felt during completing the module the rest is all good how i'm going to practice what i have learned from this module so this is a fun question because uh, my cousin just opened a cat shop near damansara perdana which was located in petalin jaya so during this time it was a coincidence uh, as she she's currently in need of uh, helping creating a social media content mainly uh, for her facebook and instagram uh, for her shop so perhaps i'll be glad to volunteer myself on helping her creating exciting content for her cat shop and also at the same time i can practice the skills that i have learned from this module moving forward to future plans as a beginner i think i would like to consider being in the position of content marketer specialist or maybe a content creator and with the experience that i will gain uh, over the next few years i think i want to work harder and achieve the position of chief creative officer one day okay that's all from me today so thank you for listening